closing my eyes really tightly yeah. so it doesn't affect it. Yeah. See how tight that was? Like, yeah. Safety squint. Safety squint. What's going on guys out there Speed Shark Garage? This is Mike and we got the Baja coming back again. We're putting a new muffler on it. We're cleaning up the tins. So all that's left is to get the exhaust, do the tins, and um, get this thing to run again because we're going to get a new exhaust on it and I really want to hear what it sounds like. So get ready because there's a whole bunch of different things coming at you for this Baja today. All right, so the continuation of the episode of just cleaning up the engine, yeah. fixing some stuff, uh, building the exhaust. We're also going to be repairing this fan shroud. And lots of people, I think this is probably the number one thing, is to block off these... Heater ducts? Heater ducts, there we go. So that's what yeah. we're going to do today. Instead of just blocking them off, we're going to cut them, plate, fill it in, so they're not there anymore because that seems to be the biggest issue, I guess. Yeah. It cleans it up a lot too. Yeah. And then we're going to also fill in um, these holes. Just some random holes. From yeah. And somebody. then maybe give it a little, you know, clean up uh, paint wise just so yeah. it doesn't look so Fresh shabby. Fresh paint since we've, we'll yeah. do all that work. Never had an issue with these, but everyone's saying to cap them. And so we're going to cap them. So we're going to show you, we're going to be cutting it. We're going to be welding on some super rusted metal that I have right around because <laughs> we don't want to buy one of these. They're not that expensive, but we have it. It works. In theory, this is still like a budgety type yeah. build. Um, so uh, reusing anything we can reuse is, you know. 10 times. Yeah, it's better yeah, than it's buying. Yeah, it's just more thing. cost effective and it's more likely something you can use at home. Yeah. So cool. we're going to get to it. We're going to start cutting and welding and uh, show you the process of how we're going to do it. Okay, so I think my process of getting these off so they should just be more or less pinch welded on there. We're gonna try just grinding it down and see if we can just pop them off. So we actually aren't gonna just be cutting everything off. We're gonna try that first, see if that works. And if not, then we're just gonna revert to cutting it off completely and figuring it out from there. <laughs> like that and then we're gonna probably just flatten some of this down cool so we'll probably just clean that off and just weld the plate right on top of there. We don't want to cut into this and then have less metal. We'll just put yeah. it over top. We're not going to put like a perfect patch in there because it doesn't need that. We'll just put a patch on top and uh, weld that up. So we'll get this other side off and then start cutting out pieces to go on top. And then we're going to clean off all these holes and try to get them spot welded together. All right, we're just going to do some rudimentary Super scientific marks on there. Yep. Oh, so we just went around. I just did uh, small taxes, just like if you're doing any body or sheet metal work, you don't want to overheat and warp it. So we did some small tacks where I let this side cool down. So we're going to get this side cut out and tacked in at the same time. But I think once we get full tacks around there and clean this up, you're going to see it. But 
Yeah. It's gonna more purpose than it is. Yeah, less. yeah. All right, what are you doing? Well, cooling it down um, to keep in the keeping it from being heat soaked. So we'll just cool it down with the the air gun. Um, just because this is such thin metal, it's super thin, so yeah. it'll suck up a lot of heat. But we're also I'm running the I'm actually running a thicker gauge wire, I think. But it's working out pretty well so far. I think because we're overlapping yeah. and not doing a butt weld. If you're doing a butt weld, it's definitely more difficult with this thin of metal. That's why I just went with the overlapping. So it's a little harder to burn up. And plus, I'm hitting it. If this was the gun, I'm starting on the this metal first and then coming down to here. So that way I'm melting all this and then melting it to there so I don't blow through yeah. the uh, fan shroud itself. And now we're going to let these ones cool down. Because about taking our time, we don't just completely warp it right off the bat. And what we're going to do is I'm going to go through here. So these holes here, I, I'm pretty positive I could fill them with nothing else but just the gun. So I'm going to go through here and grind off the paint, and then I'm going to tack around and fill these real quick. Well, uh, filled pretty well. There's some thin metal there, so it wasn't the easiest thing, but yeah, that'll work. So there we go. Cool. So we'll get going with these other holes. We'll put some more welds on this and uh, just working my way around slowly, just getting everything filled. So it's just time consuming. I'm closing my eyes really tightly yeah. so it doesn't affect it. Yeah. See how tight that was? Like, yeah. Safety squint. Safety squint. Okay. Yeah. So now we got all our little patches tacked in there. I think that's all the holes. So we're going to uh, carefully go around and tack them completely on there. And then we're going to come back, grind them down, then we're going to throw a coat of paint. Let's yeah. get this quickly done so we can get to that point and have a cool finished-esque product for this part of our episode. Sweet. So this thing is all cleaned up. Looks pretty good, I think, for uh, just some patchwork. This is going to drive me nuts. I'm bend that. We're going to get this cleaned up real quick. And primered so we got a little uh wax and grease remover basically denatured alcohol i'm just picking stuff off the ground to use <laughs> uh there's lid too so we'll give it a quick wipe down to get all of the stuff off and then uh we'll hit it with some primer so that way it's at least done and then when we get the paint for it we'll get the good coat of paint on there and uh, show you that final product. Okay, so we just got some primer filler stuff. We're not gonna sand it though, but a little thicker. So we got yeah. that painted now. We're going to let it dry, get the paint on it, and then we're gonna be showing you, either we're gonna be doing the exhaust, putting this back together, and getting the car to run. So that'll be next after it's done painted. So we're gonna be changing up from Super Trap to Super Rust Magna Flow. Uh, and this one we're going to be cutting off that exhaust on the, on the Baja Bug and putting on a muffler because this is god awful loud. Okay, so those who don't know what the Super Trap is, well, on this exhaust that we installed almost over a year ago now, it would sit right here and this thing just blew right onto the cage, onto the wheel, on the light, kind of just everywhere. If you don't know, all that's in these are little discs. They're just not even, they're not even solid. They're more like rings. So I cut this off and I'm gonna be welding on a Magnaflow. So I got this Magnaflow here, just a simple straight through glass plaque and glass, glass plaque, pack, gla glass pack, uh, a little stuff in it, I don't know. It's been sitting around in the scrap pile, but it's gonna be perfect because it's gonna be coming in right under here I'm actually probably just going to tack weld it, line it up, 
and then I'm going to run a little pipe out the side. The nice thing about this one is there's always this bracket welded here, so we're going to use that. If you can see, there's going to be a little thing that will clamp on to this pipe and help support the whole exhaust itself, just so there's not that extra weight pushing on this and tends to crack them. So we're going to get this tacked on here, get all the cleaned up. I'm going to just place it here, run a couple tacks how I like it, and then run the bead around it, it's done. It's gonna be a super quick, easy project. A quick grind, and actually it's sitting in here by itself. So I'm just gonna set it in, and I'm positioning it, because I want it to get away from everything. I'll probably end up cutting off these little, this tab over here that keeps hanging. Um, but I wanna just shove it up in there, have it sticking out. I think I'm gonna have it down. I can kinda put it wherever I want. <sighs> I like that. I'm gonna pull it off so I can get it off the bench and do it easier. Okay, grinded that down real quick. Uh, I took off all that crap that was just not wanting to stick. So now let's for a beat on this bad boy. Try to get a good weld, hopefully. Alright, there's the welded up muffler. We got all the crappy welds off. These aren't too bad. Everyone's gonna see them, so I tried my best, but it'll definitely seal. Then I'm gonna come down here. I got this piece of, I think it's two inch, two and a half stainless. I'm gonna cut this crap off here and probably just weld it right there to the muffler. Maybe put a little curve something fancy on there but that stainless will turn nice and blue and purple probably after a couple runs but yeah we'll have it just pointing down like that nice little 90 degree i think that'll just finish it off kind of nicely i'm just gonna cut off these weld it on and then make a nice little tip my own style somehow so we're gonna get to that and yeah i'm just welding this straight to the muffler body Yeah, that looks good. Oh, purple. So we're gonna try to cut a cool tip out of this thing and do some art. Let's see how it goes. Uh, maybe like some, like a, I don't know, maybe I just leave it. Or do I just wanna cut like a circle? I got my bracket, routed that thing, fit. Uh, cut the pipe in half, some solid stock, kind of overkill, but I think it'll look clean. And then we're gonna drill this hole here. It's gonna be offset, but that's fine. And um, maybe just a whole all oil, whatever. Might make it an oil oval shape. So let's get that drilled. Okay, so here's that bracket. And then we're just gonna take, which of these might be too big. All right, so that one's too big, but this one, you get the gist, we're gonna secure it there. And put the other one down, but, and it's cleared of everything. I'm still gonna cut, there's a tab on the other side. The new muffler up to down pipe, we could see it's a weird cocked angle, but that's because I wanted to keep this down, clearing this tab, which I'll probably cut off, but wanted to keep it clear for now. So hopefully it won't hit it. Uh, cause we want this top one, cause that's for the flag. So hopefully it doesn't bump it too much. We could probably get a little bend out of it if we need, but I did tighten all the things down. So there's our little bracket. <sighs> Pretty nice actually. And at least I think came out really well just for some scrap and getting lucky that this was just positioned 
right where we needed it. Then a little stylish tip for the end. And uh, so that'll wrap up some muffler replacement, getting off that super trap, put it on this Magnaflow. And unfortunately we can't listen to it because everything's apart, but I'm excited because I think it's gonna be substantially quieter and all of the exhaust is gonna exit here instead of up here and making soot and crap all over the place. Um, plus I think that looks pretty cool from the back end, you know, that it's very common to see that, so. Yeah, pretty happy with that. Made it all myself. This is all just stuff I had lying around, and um, that'll do it. Since they finally came in, we're going to get some new gaskets and some new nuts on this exhaust and intake so it's nice and sealed up. Uh, that's our next step. So we're going to actually be pulling all this exhaust back off, get those new gaskets, new nuts, bolt it on, and then get our intake and hopefully get this thing running today. Okay, this is taking too long. Uh, we're going to do, which we've never done, is that snap, and then it's just going to be ready to go. So here we go. Done. I got it. Thrown on. It's a bit of a challenge, but it's on there. Also took the time and uh, buffed up the muffler there. It was just rusty and wanted it to look kind of nice. Get that shroud, so I'm going to grab that and show you what we did with it. And uh, get this thing buttoned up to start. So I'm going to start with the shroud because I think that's easier and then go to the intake and so on and so forth. Cool. Here's the shroud. Uh, I unfortunately somehow lost the paint that I was doing the head tins with. It's just gone up and ran off and disappeared. So just painted the whole thing that is Eastwood black. We got our stencil on there and I threw some glitter paint sparkle. So at least it has some flair and right? something. But uh, it's not too bad. You could obviously tell where the patches are, but the black color hides it pretty well, especially the ones that I just tacked well together. Uh, those are really hard to see. So we're going to put this on and get those screws in. And um, Pretty sure I just dropped the, uh, yep. Cool. So there's a screw in there. Fudge. Cover your intake holes. There it is sitting just inside the intake. So that's cool. I gotta have to get that out. And I don't know where the magnet tool is. So we're just gonna try by hand real quick. Woo. Okay, it's going in the hole, and we're getting this intake on before anything else falls in these stupid holes. Whew. Okay. Nope, of course. So I gotta take off. If you can hear me, there's a fan shot has to come off. Before I put the shroud back on for like the fourth time, I'm going to bolt these down to confirm it fits and then I don't have to like take something off or do something stupid with it, I, whatever. All right. Now, now I remember that oh, I told myself. I had to put this on before the exhaust. Basically, this fan shroud, just don't worry about putting it on until like the very last second because it's going to come back up now. Okay. God damn. Okay. Oh. Cool, it's on. I don't know how you get those belts on or not. 
Now I gotta throw this stupid thing back on. The carburetor that is the worst. Well, this exact carburetor has been just the worst. It's just acted up. It's like flat outs and all this stupid stuff. Going to get the throttle. It's actually super easy when the distributor cap is off. That's nice. Okay, I'm going to uh, attempt to start this. I think I just got to put the bat plug battery in. But we got the cap back on, the plugs back on. There's oil, there's a belt, fan, bolted down, everything secure. I'm excited to hear this exhaust. So let's do this. A little bit of gas. If there's a fire, let me know. Fingers crossed. Why? Got something wrong. Round two. The valves were way out of adjustment, go figure, because the push rods got mixed up. And uh, now let's see what happens. We adjusted the valve. I'm feeling a little more confident because they were way out of adjustment. So I'm going to turn on the ignition and see how it fires up. Here we go, second time around. That starter is just... There we go. That's all it was. The valves were way out of adjustment. Oh wait, we don't have uh, the belt on. Let me get the belt on. All that work and then the whole thing overheats be my luck how do you guys put on these belts <laughs> please let me know because obviously there's no tensioner and so i'm just doing the old like kind of bend it on there and then rotate it so whatever okay the ignition on let's get this uh tuned up just slightly and uh, It's the starter. It's not even, I know it's the starter because the about the relay fine. Oh man, it is so much quieter. Holy crap, I can't express how much quieter this thing is. And I know people like loud stuff, but holy crap, it was just awful. That Magnaflow sounds pretty good, so I'm going to give it a couple revs and see what it sounds like. She's running fantastic. It sounds good. It's running good. Like I said, the valves were way out of adjustment, so they, the way I figured it out quickly was, one, looking at the valves. But before that, I was touching the intake manifold on this side was burning hot, the other side wasn't. So that's telling me that it's prematurely firing and going up in, and this exhaust was colder than the rest. Um, so it just wasn't firing, or it was firing, but it was opened at the wrong time. So I knew it was that side for sure. I just went through all of them just to be safe. Um, but whew, it's running fantastic. So I want to get this thing out. I want to test drive it just because it's running, but who knows how it's running on the road. So that's going to wrap up this 
episode of kind of a tidy up and repair on the bug. We drove it all the way up here. As you can see, did actually really good. I think I gotta adjust those um, the fuel just a little bit more. It seemed to be cutting out. Um, not as high RPM as I thought it should be. That makes sense anyways. So it's great, it's running. That exhaust is 10 times better. I can hear myself think. Um, here, I'll just listen. Shut it off. Anyways, that's gonna wrap up our episode. We got the studs fixed, the valves readjusted again, new muffler, uh, fan shroud, those air ducts are sealed, same with the holes, everything. We also had the fuel regulator, which I won't, I haven't showed you guys, so this is it. I actually used a motorcycle petcock uh, fuel shut off, so I could just turn this in storage because I find every once in a while that the electric pump seems to siphon in, and I don't know. This is just a safety thing. Basically, I could just shut the fuel off, need be, anytime, or open up. There's the regulator. It's still holding. It's just shy of four, three and a half. I might bump it up just, just a hair because I feel like it's getting fuel starved, and then I might make the mixture a little richer. I think we're running a little leaner. Um, especially at this altitude and I know Volkswagen's run richer is a little bit better and safer. So we'll get that basically just going to hook up that vacuum gauge to one of those and tune it. And, um, but it's very drivable. This is very, very drivable. Now it feels great. I mean, it's a, it's a bug with 35, 33. So it's not have a lot of power. Anyways, we're going to keep cruising it, but thanks again for watching and we'll see you next time.